Removing the lifter and lever spring screws from a 73, 66, and Henry rifle can sometimes be difficult. Hi, I'm Ryan Hoover with Cimarron Firearms, and I'm going to show you how to remove those screws without damaging them. First, take your rifle and be sure that it's unloaded. This one is. I'm going to remove the side plate of the rifle. Be sure to use a well-fit screwdriver and not to strip out the head. The side plate come off. Now, as we look inside the rifle, you can see that there is a spring here. This is the carrier lifter spring and a spring on the other side that's a mirror of that, which is the lever spring. In order to prevent your screws from being difficult to remove from stripping the heads or potentially breaking the heads off, you want to release the tension of those springs like this. What I'm going to do is reach in with my screwdriver and pry this spring off of its ledge on the carrier lifter, which you heard the snap. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. This means that the lever is now loose, as is the carrier, and the springs are no longer under as much tension, so you can use, again, a properly fit screwdriver to remove those screws without damaging them. I've seen many screws with broken heads or damaged slots over the years because people did not take this step before trying to remove the screws. Installation is just the same, except in the opposite way. You want to uh, screw the screws in, and then you can use your screwdriver to lift them and put them back on their ledges on the lever and on the carrier lifter. Then reinstall the side plates. The right side goes first, then the left. Install the screw. Easy as that. And that's how to remove your lever and carrier lifter spring screws without breaking them.